Welcome back to the Serengeti. The team is heading out to the southern plains where the migration has come full circle. With life still far from normal in much of the world, the Serengeti is thriving. The wildebeest have lots of young, the plains are lush and teeming with life. Safari guides John B. Kivuyu and Richard Knocker, award-winning photographer Paul Joynson Hicks, and inspirational filmmaker Eliza Powell set off once more to take you into the thick of the action. We hope this helps to brighten your day and remind you that we're all still here, ready to welcome you back on safari as soon as you're ready to travel again. Why is it so dark? Ow! 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 Have you got a light? Morning, Ricardo. Morning, Paolo. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back and in the drizzle. And we are in the drizzle. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it's 5.33 and we were meant to have a super duper start. Doing what? We're off ballooning. We're off ballooning. Yay! No, so, sorry. We, are, we are in the southern part of the Serengeti in the short grass plains around in the Ngorongoro Conservation Area, which is really, really cool place to be. It's a new place for us, for yeah. the series. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, let's see if we go ballooning. Yeah. Fingers, Fingers crossed, crossed for the weather. Yeah. <laughs> That was utterly amazing. That was, it was amazing. Beautiful flight. Lovely, just drifting over the plane like that. And there was a lot See, of animals. But there was one thing missing. There was. One gaping hole in Huge the experience. Hole. Yeah. Can you tell us about it, Paul? We're missing John B. So John you B, noticed, where are you, man? Well, we know where he is. Well, we do know it. Yeah. yeah. So John B has got a full-on proper client. A proper support. And we're really happy for him, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, no, we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're delighted. It's yeah, fantastic. So well done. He's got his uh, lovely wagon. John B. He's got his lovely clients. He will be joining us uh, when? Day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very, and um, then it'll be, the, it'll be full strength. Full he strength. It'll be full strength, yeah. And we're looking forward to having you back. Have fun, John B. Enjoy. Okay, so this afternoon, it's actually on our recce day. It's not today, it's yesterday. And Eliza and Richard are doing grown up stuff in the lodge, you know, working on computers and stuff like that. So I was packed off, I think to get out of their hair, if we're honest. Anyway, just right by the entrance to the lodge, we found this. Check him out. It's a striped hyena. I think I may have, been, may have seen one or two in my entire life. This is so exciting to see because they're basically a nocturnal, monogamous hyena. So they come out of their holes at night, they go hunting at night, and then during the day, they're tucked up in their holes underground. Except for obviously this guy, who's probably come out because his holes got wet because of the rain, he's, and he's drying out in the sun. But unlike their, their cousins, the spotted hyena, who you see all over the place all the time, these guys are on their own and, uh, and hang out at night. So they're so much harder to see. We've got this great flat neck chameleon here crossing the road. There's a joke there somewhere, isn't there? And you see this amazing rocking motion to do, that he's doing. This is what they do when you're sitting on a branch and you do this. I think it looks like a branch um, waving in the wind. It's good camouflage. It doesn't work so well when you're crossing the road, does it? And he's in really bright colour. He's stressed out because he knows he's vulnerable. Um, and they've got this, look, you see he's opening his mouth as well. It's a threat display. Make himself look scary. But of course, if a, if a hornbill or something comes by and sees him now, he's very visible, very easy to catch. He's very vulnerable right now. There we go. You're better now, aren't you? Okay, so um, day one, have to have a photo tip. So it is pouring with rain. 
and I've come out this uh, this this afternoon and I'm thinking what do I do it's actually pouring in the rain so photo tip of the day how to photograph wildlife in the wet sorry I may have to speak a bit louder since so rainy so hard there's two things you can do one is you can go get out and get all your kit wet and get you wet and ruin everything and but feel very good about yourself except for your dead camera the way I like to do it is look at which direction the rain is coming from and I can see the rain was coming from uh, west to east so I parked the car pointing to the east and so the, the car is blocking the rain so if you can see here I got no water coming in the window so I can pick up my camera and I can shoot straight out oh that's fantastic and it's pouring the rain but I've got I've got a nice dry camera the windows open no rains coming in um, so I'm nice and dry and the last thing is if it's pouring with rain it's going to be really dark so uh, high ISO always remember pump up your ISO so your shutter speed if you're hand holding your shutter speed needs to be higher than your longest focal length we'll come back to that but remember big ISO so you have a fast shutter speed and park into the rain.